it's Julia Cook and Kerber Derby Doodlebug coming to you live today on this wonderful Friday. And today we're going to read, um, you know, that rule doesn't apply to me to talk about rules. And uh, before I start, I just want to give a shout out to some of the kids who've been tuning in like all the time. Um, we have Beckett and Lucas, Elijah and Edric, Jack, Logan and Lane, Audric, Olivia, got a little cough this morning, Mr. Annaline, Aiden, Emma, Emery, Quinn, Savannah, Jessica, and Angel. And I have a ton more, and I just want to tell you, thank you so much for coming and enjoying these bookends. Now we have another special announcement that's kind of different. Miss Kirby Derby Doodle is seven. And she travels all the time and gets a little bit tired. So before she gets too tired, we need to introduce a teammate to her so that she can help train them on the road to do what she does with you. So next week, we are bringing another baby onto the fleet. This is the new one. And she is very small right now. She only weighs about a pound, and she's awfully cute, but the problem is she doesn't have a name, you guys. This is going to be Kirby Derby Doodle's little sister, and I would love it if you guys, all of you out there, could think about different names that you might want to name this little one. So we'll put her up on Facebook and have a big announcement, and she won't be with us Monday, but next Friday, a week from today, she'll actually be on with us because I'll have her by then and we'll have a name contest. And then the winner of the name contest can pick any Julia cookbook they want and I'll mail it to their house. So just get a mental picture of that little one and think about a cool name. All right, now we'll flip back around and we're gonna talk about rules. So I'll put curbs down for a little bit. She's, oh, what's she wearing today, sorry. She has her little spring outfit on. It's a beautiful day here. So we're going to do lots of walks outside. So we're going to talk about rules for a minute. Rules are here for a reason, you guys. They're here to help us, not hurt us. And there's a lot of rules out there. And, if, and, the, and they're not, rules are not a bad thing. They're an excellent thing. Because, I mean, think about it for a minute. We have traffic rules. So if this dump truck is driving down the street and it misses a stop sign, and this food truck's coming the other way. The dump truck is gonna hit the food truck, and then there's gonna be cement and food all over the pavement, and maybe hurt people more important than that, you know? We have rules for a reason. And so some kids don't like to follow the rules, we don't like to follow the rules, but what if you're making macaroni and cheese and you don't follow the rules, it doesn't taste right? Or you're making a brownie mix, and instead of um, adding water and eggs, you decide, Oh, I don't think I'll, I'll skip that part. I don't have eggs or water. I'll just add milk. They won't taste the same. They won't be good, according to the box. These are the rules of making brownies. And rules have a purpose to help us. Well, Noodle, he doesn't like rules. He thinks rules stink. So here is that rule that doesn't apply to me. Norman David Edwards, but everybody calls me Noodle. Sometimes I get into trouble because I don't follow the rules, but I think there's way too many rules in our world, and some of them don't even apply to me. We have rules that say you can't eat in here, and rules for don't pick your nose, P rules for people who drive. Now why should I worry about those? At school, we have rules for everything, no hitting, no butting, don't cheat. Don't run in the halls, you must raise your hand. Hey Noodle, please sit in your seat. At home, I have a gazillion rules. No Noodle, you can't have a pet mouse. I can't have my friends over when my mom's not home and I can't wear my shoes in the house. I can't have my computer or my video games in my room overnight. It's 10 p.m., Noodle. Bring your fun stuff to my room. 
Ah, oh, Mom, that just isn't right. We have rules that say brush your teeth twice a day and put your dishes in the sink. I have rules for every ounce of my life, and I think that most of them stink. Yesterday at school, when it's time to line up for lunch, I walked over to my friends to stand. Teach and st in line. Teacher, noodle butted. Noodle, we have a rule for cutting in line, and you just broke the rule. That rule doesn't apply to me. I need to stand by these guys, or end up sitting by the girls at lunch. Noodle, rats. I ended up sitting next to Marigold. During social studies, we're having a discussion about elections. Hey, hey, why can't kids vote, I asked. Noodle. We have a rule that says, if you want to say something, you need to raise your hand and wait your turn. And you just broke the rule because you just interrupted Reginald. Actually, I only bent that rule. Besides, it really doesn't apply to me anyway because last week, you told me I needed to get more involved in social studies. So that's what I'm doing. Noodle. Rats. I had to write a sorry note to Reginald. During math, I logged on to my fantasy football website to check out my score. Teacher, noodle surfing. Noodle, we have a rule that says when we use our tablets for math, the only website you can be on is our district math website. And you just broke the rule. That rule doesn't apply to me. I'm actually doing math. I'm analyzing my football statistics so I can pull out a win. Noodle. Rats. Now I can't use my tablet in math for six, two weeks straight. Marigold has tattle time. Then my day got even worse because my teacher gave us homework in my language arts, my like least favorite subject. Class tonight, your assignment will be to write a poem from you to me. Do your best and take your time and try to use great words that rhyme. You get to choose what you put in your poem. You can work on it now and finish it at home. All right. When I got home, I ate my snack and headed to my room to work on my poem. My mom has this dumb rule says I get to get all my homework done before I play with my friends or play video games. I bet I'm the only kid on the planet that has that rule. All of my friends get to do their homework whenever they want, as long as they get it done. Noodle, you can't take your video game into your room before your homework's finished. You know what the rules are. That rule doesn't apply to me, Mom. My video game isn't even turned on. Well, I could agree with you, Noodle. Then we'd both be wrong. Oh, rats. I sat in my room for about 112 years trying to figure out what to write. Then I got a really great idea. I'm done. Can I go play now? Well, yeah, but you need to read me your poem first. Oh, okay, sure. <clears throat> Rules stink, a poem by Noodle. Roses are red, violets are blue. I wish we didn't have rules at school. You cannot run or jump in the halls. Be quiet in the library. Don't write on the walls. No video games are allowed at school. That makes me mad. I can't stand that rule. Spit out your gum noodle at school. You can't chew it. Show your steps on your math assignment so I can see you've worked through it. Don't push. Don't shove. Take turns in P.E. Keep your eyes on your own paper. Noodle, listen to me. Be on time. Don't be tardy and always share. Raise your hand and be patient. Don't lean back in your chair. Rules really stink. That's all I can say. It'd be so cool to have a rule-free day. The end. Noodle, you do realize that having rules is a good thing, don't you? Some rules, Mom, but I seriously feel like grown-ups stay up all night thinking of rules that make my life miserable. Well, rules aren't here to hurt you. They're here to protect you. Think about it. If you had a rule-free day at school, it might end up being a disaster. Your teacher wouldn't even know when to start because no one would get there on time. Kids could cut right in front of you when you were standing in line. Whenever you tried to talk, someone might interrupt you. Bullying would be okay. Then what would you do? 
kids could cheat off your papers and your teachers wouldn't care. You might end up stepping in somebody's gum and someone might pull your hair. You could lean back in your chair if you wanted. If you fell, it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't be able to think in the library because it'd be way too much chatter. Video games would start playing you and screen time would take over your life. Food would get thrown in the lunchroom and nothing would feel right. Everyone could wear whatever they wanted. Kids could write on the walls. School would feel like an unsafe place and you wouldn't like it at all. Rules protect you. They help you stay safe. They help you more than you know. If you didn't have rules in your life, you couldn't accomplish your goals. I know you don't like to follow the rules, but I want you to stop and think. If everyone could do whatever they wanted, your life would really stink. Well, I never guessed I really thought about it like that. So I went back in my room and, and I fixed my poem just a little tiny bit. And, and then I went outside to play with my friends. Today at school, just before the bell rang, I got to read my poem out loud during language arts. Rules stink, a poem by a noodle. Roses are red, violets are blue. Wish we didn't have rules at school. You cannot run or jump in the halls. Be quiet in the library. Don't write on the walls. No video games are allowed at school. That makes me mad. I can't stand that rule. Spit out your gum noodle at school. You can't chew it. So your steps on your math assignment so I can see you've worked through it. Don't push. Don't shove. Take turns in PE. Keep your eyes on your own paper. Noodle, listen to me. Be on time. Don't be tardy and always share. Raise your hand and be patient. Don't lean back in your chair. Rules really stink. That's all I could say. It'd be so cool to have a rule-free day. Not the end by Noodle. So what I want to talk to you really quick about before we flip over is that there's, there's a framework for rules. And right now rules are really important in our, in our lifetime. And we need to follow them so that we can stay safe. There's some rule, all rules kind of fall under this main framework. Number one thing is you have to listen to the boss of you. Maybe that's your teacher, maybe that's your parents, maybe it's your grandparents, maybe it's your daycare provider. But you guys have a boss and it's really important that you listen to what they tell you because they don't tell you stuff just for fun. They tell you stuff because it's helpful and it keeps you safe. Number two, when it comes to rules, you need to tell the truth. Don't make up rules based on false things because they don't hold up. And the third one when you're making up rules, they need to show respect for yourself, respect for other people, and respect for property. And that's where we get into this thing where people want us to wear face masks because we're gonna have different rules now that we're gonna kinda open up as our country and we want to keep everybody safe including you so we have to be respectful of each other and we have to keep two meters which is about six feet apart um that's probably about as tall as your mom and dad apart from other people and the rules might be different when you go back to school so you need to listen to the boss that's the teacher and the principal and the counselors and you need to understand that these rules here are here for a purpose and that purpose is to help you grow and help you stay safe i mean think about it if everybody could do whatever they wanted, when they wanted, we would have complete chaos. And then no one would be helpful, healthy, healthy, and nobody would be safe. So I just want you to think about rules. They're here for a reason. They're here to help you, not hurt you. And get ready to follow some rules, because we're going to have some good ones coming up. So here's Curves. And I tried to talk to her about her little sister. I think she's kind of mad. That dog's not going to replace Kirby. We're going to go. She's going to travel with her. So... Um, she will weigh only about two pounds, eight ounces when she grows up like Kirby. She weighs two pounds, eight ounces. So I have two tiny mutts. And then when I get really busy, Kirby can have more time at home and the other dog can have time. We can rotate them. So it'll be fun. 
to give me your ideas just send them to my website or send them to my Facebook page text them to me whatever you want to do give me some ideas on what to name this little girl dog who's Kirby Derby Doodle's little baby sister all right tune it out hey who knows what we're reading on Monday I'm not gonna tell you let me know if you know what it is have a great weekend love you guys be safe bye